Hi, welcome to Miller Guide. I'm Margaret Martin. And what I'm going to cover today is a couple tips on helping you to stay active through the changing seasons. So here's some tips that um, I learned growing up as a kid. We were 11 kids and we didn't all have rubber boots and we didn't all have rain jackets. So this is what we did and it worked really well. So first of all, you need a couple of bread bags um, or the grocery bags because they're the right thickness. You don't want too, too thick. And they work great for insulating your feet. Um, if it's a bit colder, even in the winter months, you can use your wool socks as your first layer and then your plastic bag as your second layer. So we're gonna just slip on the second plastic bag. I already have the first one on and the second one's gonna come on here. And then all you have to do is roll your sock back over it, hide everything with your pant leg, and you're ready to go. Now, the second plastic bag that you want is going to be kind of the kitchen um, container, garbage container size plastic bag. You don't want the big, you know, uh, black plastic bag. So, second plastic bag. You need to use it um, to insulate your body. And so even if you end up getting your arms a little wet, that's okay. It's only an hour walk generally, and arms can usually handle it. So we're gonna make a couple of holes with the plastic bag um, that we have. If you don't have scissors handy, then by all means, just ripping the plastic bag works as well. So take your plastic bag, and you're gonna make a seam straight down the middle. That way it's gonna, gonna keep your shoulders um, warm, but allow you to get your head in. The other holes, take, make the holes at the top of the corners. So just make that little slit, cut it straight down. We'll do the same thing on the other side. And oftentimes work, if you're, you know, go for walks at lunch and you go, oh man, I totally forgot all my stuff. Usually if you go to the janitor at the workplace or wherever you keep the janitorial supplies, you can probably find what you need um, for your lunchtime walk. So taking your windbreaker off, we're gonna create the waterproof layer under the windbreaker and it's gonna keep us warm and dry, especially if the rain is anything like it was last week and it's just pouring down and so Slip your arms through, slip your head through. Then you have a lovely warm insulating layer over which you put your windbreaker or your lightly waterproofed coat. You can always tuck it in if you don't like the external look. And then you're ready for a warm fall walk. Enjoy your walking this fall. This is Margaret from Miller Guide.